Well, good morning, friends. Good morning, saints, on this beautiful Thursday morning. Let's head down to the river and let's open the Word of God and see what the Spirit of the Lord will say to you today. In fact, uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to go down, I'm going to read the Bible, yeah, I'm going to give you a verse, but here's what I'm going to do. Um, it's not that different, because I always ask you to uh, look at the chapter, but uh, today, when we head into the Word, I am intentionally not going to break down the chapter and give you the main themes or subjects or ideas or whatever. Um, I'm really feeling convicted is the right word, um, but by the Spirit telling me to just present it to you and then back off so that you who are interested in hearing from the Spirit of God, that you will take the time to read the whole of the chapter with an open heart and a spirit open listening to the Spirit of God so that you might hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to you today. There are a number of different themes and uh, things in that chapter, which I'll introduce to you in just a second, that um, the Spirit of the Lord, I think He's going to highlight something to you. And it might be obviously something different to each one of you. And so I'm not going to tell you what's important. I'll give you the chapter and why it's important. But then I'm going to invite you, if you want to hear from God today, to take a few minutes and to slowly, in a meditative kind of way, read the rest of the chapter and ask that the Spirit of the Lord would speak to you individually. And we're going to believe that one phrase, one word, one verse, one idea is going to be burning in your heart by the Spirit of the Lord. And uh, that's, that's God working in you. He is alive. This is His living Word. And so uh, let's believe for that. Let's turn to my favorite chapter in the Bible. My favorite, Ephesians chapter 4. Um, and here is what we read in verse 1. And this is the only thing I'm going to emphasize. And then let uh, the Spirit of the Lord take it from there. I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called. So I'm just going to just sit on this verse for a minute, and the rest of the chapter, please take the time listening to the Spirit of God and hear what the Spirit of the Lord says to you specifically. Here's just how I want to introduce this, though. This is, of course, written by the Apostle Paul, a prisoner of the Lord. And I think there's an there's a, a incredible uh, contrast right here. I, a prisoner, urge you to walk freely. Do you see that? He's in prison, in chains. He cannot walk around. But he calls on our freedom for us to freely, friends, you and I are called to walk, to live, to work, to in our freedom move around and act in a way, in a manner that is worthy of the calling of God to which you have been called. And yes, friends, you and I 
are called by God. He knows our name. He has called us by name. There's lots of verses on that one. And he has called us into his kingdom, into his service. There's nobody who has heard the voice of the Lord who is exempt from that. You and I, friends, you and I, are called by the Lord. And so let's work, let's walk, let's talk, let's think, let's act, let's react in a way that is worthy to that which we have been called. Father, today, I ask, O oh God, that your grace would shine upon us. O oh Lord, let us hear your voice as we read Ephesians chapter 4. O oh God, let us know the direction of the Lord. Let us know the voice of our God. Let us know your heart. Let us know your mission. And, O oh God, let us know our place and our purpose today in your greater plan. We love you, Lord. And it is a privilege to be called by you, to have an expectation on our lives, Today, O oh God, we surrender gladly. We are privileged people. So we serve you with gladness in the joy of your salvation. Make us a blessing, we pray, both to yourself and to those around us. As today we move and walk and live in the Spirit of God. With thanksgiving, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Friends, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Have yourselves a good day. Amen. Amen.